Okay, I'm Joe Polish, President, Piranha Marketing. A fabulous group of several hundred entrepreneurs ready to uh, be entertained, educated, and told the story of an amazing individual, Sir Richard Branson. Yeah. Uh, Hi, <laughs> Hi, Richard. How are you? I'm good. How are you? We're at a marketing conference, and all these people, uh, we have a lot of the world's best marketers in the world that are at this conference right now, and, and many that want to learn how to be um, just great marketers. And you're, you're a phenomenal marketer. You've gotten some of the, the most unique PR on the planet. Uh, what are your thoughts on being a great marketer and promoter? Well, I, I mean, I also think fun should come into marketing. Um, the, the, uh, the, there was a, uh, an occasion where uh, British Airways decided to sponsor the, a, a giant wheel opposite the Houses of Commons in London, England. And, uh, and this giant wheel was lying flat on the ground. And they got all the press together one morning um, uh, where they were going to uh, lift the wheel up. Uh, and I got a call at about 7 in the morning say that, saying that BA had technical problems and they couldn't get the wheel up. And all the press, the world's press, were there waiting. Um, we had an airship company. So um, I rang up the airship company and we scrambled an airship. And, um, uh, and the airship went right over the wheel. And it had a massive big banner across it, which simply said, BA can't get it up. And um, anyway, we, we got more, more coverage around the world for that than I think any, any other one single thing we'd done. <laughs> that is uh, fabulous. And that's getting a big applause in case you can't hear it over there, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's terrible, right? No, they, no, um, the. No, uh, on, I mean, on. On, on marketing generally, I, I mean, I, again, I think that the, the cheapest form of marketing is not full page adverts in the press. Uh, it's, um, it's free advertising. So uh, if you're up against a big corporation, um, you do need to use yourself uh, to try to get free advertising and you know, try to do it in fun ways like that. Uh, so you, you stand out from the crowd, try to make sure you you know, you end up doing something that hits the front page of the newspapers rather than the back page. Um, but, you know, you, but, uh, um, you know, obviously we've gone to extreme lengths to try to, you know, put Virgin on the map, you know, whether it's trying to be the first across the Atlantic in a hot air balloon or the Pacific in a hot air balloon or, um, uh, you know, uh, but, um, you know, but it, it, but it did help, I think, you know, create the Virgin brand, make it a fun brand. Um, and a brand that people could identify with. Now I'm going to ask you some questions that uh, the people in the audience actually submitted. So here's the first one. Uh, can you share with us a time when you really struggled in business and, if, and that you've overcome that adversity to become as successful as you've become? Well, I think if, if anyone's read my book, Losing My Virginity, they'll realize that uh, you know, m for many, many, many years we were struggling. and. I think anybody who starts off in business without financial backing, uh, it's one long struggle. And there's only really one word uh, that matters, and that, that, that's uh, to survive. To, survive um, you know, to do everything you can to survive. You can't be thinking about you know, people in Africa and sorting out their problems. You can't be thinking about the homeless, the homeless on the streets in New York or in America. You just got to survive so that one day, hopefully, you can get yourself into a position where you can uh, worry about other people. Um, and a lot of companies do not survive. I mean, in fact, the majority of uh, people who um, start from start from scratch without financial backing uh, uh, go into Chapter 11 or go bankrupt on at least one or two or three occasions before they um, finally manage to make it. And 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 so uh, so survival was key. We, we, the, there's a very thin dividing line between survival and success. Important is fun uh, in business because I am a big, big believer of just uh, having fun. I'm a total goofball and I love everyone here to all the hard work they do as entrepreneurs to just have the philosophy that make business and make life fun and you're a perfect example of that. So any thoughts or advice you can give on that? Well, personally I think it's really important. Um, but, you know, it, 
it's, and it's particularly important that the, 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 the chairman of the company is willing to let their hair down and have fun. Uh, so much of one's life is spent at work, um, and it's you know, and it's critical that uh, that the people who work for your company enjoy it, that they that they uh, you know that they enjoy life, and uh, and it's up to you know the presidents of companies and the chairmen of companies to make sure that our people have a good time, and we've got to. You know, I mean, you, you really want a director of fun in the company if you if you if you if you can afford it, who can, you know, make sure that the, you know, that you can get that the staff can get into the, the local nightclubs at a you know reasonable price, and you know you you, you know make make sure they can, um, uh, you know make, you know make make sure they can be entertained if there's a big you know if, if there's a big band coming into town, you know go out of your way to make sure you can secure tickets maybe at a discount price for your staff and so on. So. Uh, make sure your staff ha ha have fun, and um, and it's a lot more fun being the chairman of the company in that sort of in that sort of company as well. Um, on behalf of myself, our entire audience here, uh, did you guys enjoy Sir Richard? If you did not hear thank that, you very Richard, much. If you can still hear me. thank you so much. Thank if, you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, hopefully, we'll speak again and again. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Great. Have a great day. Thank you.